Hi, it's Ted here from toolsformotivation.com and I'm back with another tutorial. This time it is a quick refresh of one of our e-covers that we include with all of our products and as of January all of our bundles and tips reports as well. Here is what you will need to complete this tutorial. Uh, it's pretty simple. First off you'll need internet access to Pixlr.com. That is the tool we use to tweak the covers. Uh, you'll need one of our covers obviously. A replacement image or uh, if you don't want to use another image an idea of what you want the new cover to look like and also a way to create the 3d effect we happen to use a program called box shot 3d I don't think it is available anymore but that is what we use there are plenty of options online if you do a quick Google search there is probably even some free options also, if you want a super quick, easy kind of hack way to do it, look at the link on the screen here and follow it. That is a tutorial we did about branding and rewrapping your 3D e-cover. You can also find a clickable link underneath this video, whether it's on YouTube or our blog. Just look underneath the video and you will see the link. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is head to Pixlr.com and for this one we will be using the Pixlr Editor. Once you launch that app, you will choose open image from computer. Now you want to find the editable e-cover, PSD remember, and open it. Now you will see your image open up. This is your e-cover, the flat version. What I like to do is to go over to this right side and move these two windows down, these window panes, and then make the panes, the layers pane, uh, a little larger. It just helps me work with the different levels. Now you're going to want to find the layer that has the image you want to swap out. It's a bitmap. Right click and delete layer. Now that the image is gone, you can replace it with another image that you, you feel more comfortable with. Go to layer, open image as layer. Find the image that you want to swap in and click open. The image you open won't be sized properly, so now we'll change that by going to edit and free transform. You can also hit Control T and then see the little corner here? Drag this down to resize the image. Remember to hold Shift down when you drag. That way you can be sure the image reduces in size evenly along each axis. Now just line it up the picture how you want to use it. And um, as soon as it's lined up nice, hit Enter. And there you go. You now have your new cover with a different image. Now you can simply just go up to File, Save. Uh, I chose a PNG, but save as wherever you want. And uh, save your flattened image. Now that you have your image saved, uh, you probably want to turn it into some kind of 3D format for your sales pages or whatever. The easiest way to do that, uh, in my opinion anyway, is to follow the tutorial that we link below this video. This was a tutorial we did last year and it includes steps on how to brand your e-cover as well as how to wrap it into a basic ebook shape. We include free templates for the 3D models as well. So it's a great tutorial and a great resource. Check it out, like this video and keep your eye out because we will be putting out much more of these videos in the future. Thanks a lot. Bye.